In this video, I'll be trying to solve a very unique problem on differential equation. All right. The question here is dy over dx or dy dx is equal to sine x cos x. And we are asked to solve this particular differential equation. Now, what is unique about questions of this form is that you can possibly have two different answers for this question and both answers would be correct. All right. It's possible. You have two different answers for this question and both answers being different would still be correct. All right. So let's look at how that is done. The first thing we want to do here, of course, as usual, is solution. Um, solution to this question. Solution here. We have that dy dx, um, given dy dx, dy dx, it's equal to what we have that is sine x cos x. So I'm having sine x cosine x. We have this. Now, how do we solve this? Now, the first thing we want to do here is to move the x to this other part here, the right hand side. And that will be that dy is equal to sine x and then cos x and then dx all right simply move dx over here or you can say multiply this by dx multiply this by dx and also multiply this by dx you see that dx will cancel dx leaving you with dy which is this one here being equal to all of this which is this all right so that's um correct mathematically all right okay let's proceed with this so what next here at this point here we'll have to integrate both sides so integrating both sides integrating both sides if i integrate both sides what do i have you have that the integral of dy is equal to the integral of sine x into cos x then dx now if i do this you see that the integral sign will cancel the d sign you're having y being equal to the integral of sine x and then cos x and then dx so we have this All right so how do you integrate equation like this what do you do and there are two ways of doing this the first thing you have to do here you say let you be equal to let's take sine x for instance all right let's you be equal to sine x we'll call this method one okay let's call this method one we'll call this method one using two different methods we'll get two different answers but both will be correct so method one let u be equal to sine x let's find let's differentiate u with respect to x we'll have that du dx differentiating u with respect to x is equal to if i differentiate sine x i'll have this is equal to cos x okay the next thing you want to do is to make the x subject of the formula and how do you do that you bring cos x downward take the x upwards so you have that du all over cos x is equal to dx now with this one in mind let's substitute now substituting substituting now if i substitute here all right if i substitute here i'll have that y so y it's equal to you have the integral of now we said sine x, which is this, should be equal to u. So in place of sine x, I'll just put u dot. So it's sine x, which is u, then cos x. So dot cos x. And then finally we have dot dx here. So dot dx. But the fact that we have a u here, what we want to do is to express the x in terms of du. So how do we do that? If you look at this, you can see that dx is equal to what there? du over cos x that means i'll come here i'll replace the x here with du over cos x that's why it's called substituting and if i do that cos x will cancel cos x what do we have here we have that y is equal to integral of u dot um du of course <coughs> dot du so we have this let's now integrate this so y will be equal to, if I integrate du, it becomes u into, the power of u here is 1, I'll add it plus 1, all over, divide by what I have here, that becomes 1 plus 1, of course, plus the constant of integration, c. 
So y will be equal to, this gives you u to the power 1 plus 1 is 2 all over 2 plus c. Let's bring back the value of u. But what's u? But if you look at what we said earlier, we said u should be equal to what there? Uh, let's see, let's see, sine x, right? Yep, look at it here. U should be equal to sine x. So you have that. So but u is equal to sine x. So but u is equal to sine x. Let's replace that. We'll have that y is equal to u squared. That's sine x all squared all over 2. That's u squared plus 2 plus c. If I work on this, we'll have that y is equal to sine x all squared. This is what is called sine squared x. So you have sine squared x all over 2 plus c. So this is my first answer when I use method 1. Let's use method 2 and see what our answer gives to us, okay? So going back to this, to use method 2, the same process, all right? You have the same process, just that at this point, instead of saying let u be equal to sine x, you take u as cos x instead, all right? So I'll say let u, let u be equal to, instead of sine x, we we'll have what there? Cos x instead. That's method 2. So let's call this method 2. So method 2. If u is equal to cos x, again, we'll do our differentiation. Differentiate u with respect to x. You have du dx is equal to, differentiate cos x. What you have there is minus sine x. All right. So if you differentiate cos x, you have a negative of sine x. We've already explained this one here in our previous class. I'll leave a link to our previous class on differentiation in the video description. Okay. Now, working on this, all you have to do is that swap this one here. This minus sign x comes down here. The x goes up there. So you have du all over minus sign x. Um, it's equal to the x goes up there becomes the x. So we have this. This will be better written as, of course, it's not proper that the denominator is negative. So it becomes, take the negative upwards, it becomes minus du all over sine x is equal to the x. So we have this. All right. So at this point, now what next? Coming back to um, substituting. All right. Next thing here is substituting. Substituting. What do we have there? We have that y is equal to the integral. In the question, we had the integral of sine x cos x dx. So integral of sine x, which is sine x dot cos x. But we said u should represent cos x. So in place of cos x, I'll put dot u, which is cos x, then dot dx. Now I have a u and the x. They cannot work together. So I'll express the x in terms of du instead. And how do I do that? Looking at this, we can see that we already said that dx is equal to minus du all over sine x. That means in place of dx here, I'll replace this with minus du all over sine x. Let's work with this. What do we have here? See that from here, sine x will cancel sine x. We'll have that y is equal to the integral of u dot minus du. Now, dot means they are multiplying. All right, not this is not u minus du. No, it's u is u multiplying negative du. The first thing I want to do here is to bring it negative outside the integral sign. So y is equal to negative the integral of u dot du. All right. If I integrate this, what do I have here? Now integrating this, I'll have that y is equal to negative. Integrating u here becomes u the pi is one, so it becomes one plus one. All right, all over 1 plus 1. This is just the basics of integration. Again, I'll leave a link to a playlist on integration in the video description. You now add plus c, where c is your constant of integration. From here, y will be equal to negative u to the power 1 plus 1 gives you 2 all over 2 plus c, which can still be better written as equal to this is minus 1 over 2. So it becomes minus 1 over 2 into u squared plus c. This is the correct. Our final task would be to replace u. But u is equal to, in method 2, we said u should be equal to what? Cos x. 
all right but u is equal to cosine x so cos x let's bring the value here so y will be equal to minus 1 over 2 into u squared u is cos x all squared then plus c all right that's u squared plus c from here y will be equal to minus 1 over 2 um cos x squared gives you cos squared x plus c all right cos x all squared gives you cos squared x plus c this becomes the answer to this question all right so this is the, the answer to the question and also this one too is still the answer to the question you can see right as saying y is equal to 1 over 2 sine squared x plus c it's correct all right so see that this question here has two different answers that are correct all right this is the first answer if you use method one by saying y should be equal to um, cos x let's see okay by saying y should be equal to sine x you have this answer and this is correct all right if you say y should be equal to cos x you have this answer here and this one also is still correct so you have two different answers but both correct now how did you find this is it weird all right guys so don't forget that you can check out my available courses on my website simply visit www.jonahimano.com forward slash courses or you can look at the available books at www.jonahimano.com forward slash books all right do well to register an account to the website and then proceed to get any of the available courses or books. You can also join my channel membership to get access to exclusive classes for just channel members. All right. I'll leave a link to my website as well as to join my channel membership in the video description. Also, I'll leave a link to our WhatsApp channel. All right. So join and then you get updates on our WhatsApp channel, all right? So if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to hit the like button, all right? Like this video, all right? Give the video a thumbs up. Also, leave a comment. If you enjoyed this video, leave it in the comment section. Tell us you enjoyed the video in the comment section. Also, if it's your first time here, don't forget to subscribe, all right? Subscribe to this channel, hit the bell icon, and select all so that you get notified whenever we upload new content. Then finally, do what you share this video to your friends so that they can also learn. Also, you can get more videos on differential equation by joining the differential equation channel membership where you get access to first order differential equations, second order differential equations, their applications, and other concepts under differential equation. You can also get it from my website. Simply visit www.jonahimani.com forward slash courses. Rest an account to the website and then proceed to get the differential equation course. All right. All right, guys. Thank you. And as usual, I'll see you in our next class.